All right, Mark here again, folks. I want to talk about sleep paralysis. I used to be terrified of sleep paralysis years ago, but then I studied, I researched, I did some real in-depth scientific research on sleep paralysis, and I'm no longer terrified by it. So I understand what it is and what it isn't. Before, you know, you hear all the, uh, the mysticisms, the spooky stuff, you know, the spooky demonic, you know, demons are holding you, some kind of evil spirit is on top of you. Like, these are all the, the, the folklores, right? And I used to buy that. I bought into that. So I had a little, uh, you know, anxiety about it when I had it. I still have sleep paralysis all the time. Uh, but it doesn't bother me anymore because I understand what it is and what it isn't. So let's discuss sleep paralysis. And for you people out there who have sleep paralysis, maybe this information will be useful to you. So check this out. In order to understand sleep paralysis, we must first understand the sleep cycle. The sleep cycle consists of non-REM and REM sleep. I'll say it again. We go through five cycles of sleep, right? Uh, four of them are considered non-REM, and the fifth cycle is considered REM. REM sleep means rapid eye movement, hence the abbreviation REM. Uh, hence the, 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 uh, the acronyms, REM, right, REM. Right, rapid eye movement. Now... During REM sleep, right? No, wait, let me just say this. When you first go, go, when you first lay down to sleep, you go through several stages. It's called your EEG, right? Electroencephalograph, which is your brain waves. So you go from, from, uh, you go from beta, you fall into alpha, then you fall into theta, and then the last state is delta. Once you go into delta, that's where you're sleeping. Uh, you can't sleep in theta. Theta is where you're relaxed. You can't sleep in beta or alpha, right? Your brain waves that you're not going to sleep in those states. You have to fall into delta to fall asleep. That's what we need to understand first and foremost. Now, REM sleep is interesting, right? Because when you go into REM sleep, usually it's in the fourth watch, meaning like you're, let me see, the, the night's, bro yeah, it's broken down into watches, right? So it's usually like in, let's, let me re recant the fourth watch part because it could, it, could, it depends. It could happen. You could, REM sleep is usually like in the morning, like, when it's like three, four, five in the morning, six in the morning, this is where you go into REM sleep. And when you're in REM sleep, you have very vivid dreams. Your dreams are extremely vivid, meaning very clear, uh, very transparent. Uh, this is this is why you remember your during REM sleep. When you have dreams in REM, you remember those dreams. Non-REM sleep dreams, you really don't remember. But when the dreams that you remember, you're in REM. Why? Because during REM sleep. Scientifically, the studies have shown that the brain waves that you're in, that I'm in at this moment while I'm doing this video, I would be in what's considered beta. Because beta brain waves mean you're focused. So right now I'm very focused. I'm studying, I'm researching, I'm talking to you guys. So I'm more so likely in beta, maybe in between beta and alpha, right? Alpha is a little bit more relaxed, but so I would be fluctuating between beta and alpha, right? What they've studied has found, research and scientists have found that when you're in REM sleep, mind you, you're sleeping. Right, this is the fifth state of sleep cycle. You're in REM, you're sleeping, your eyes are going back and forth, gyrating side to side. That's why it's called rapid eye movement. They found, based off research and studies, empirical data, that your brain waves, your EEG, electroencephalograph, the brain waves that you have while you're awake, when you're in your wakeful, wakefulness, wakeful state, like I said, most people fluctuate between beta and alpha. Uh, some people are in theta. Theta waves. Children usually reside in theta. Adults between theta, alpha, beta. In that order. Theta, alpha, beta. In that respective order. Right. They found that when you're actually sleeping, your brain waves that, remember, to go to sleep, you need to fall into delta. Delta is a very, very low brain wave. That means your brain waves are extremely relaxed, calm, serene, and that's how you can go into sleep. But when you go into REM, REM sleep, which is a cycle of the five, there's five cycles. When you go into the REM cycle, what they found is that your brain waves, this is very interesting stuff. This is very interesting stuff, very enlightening, very illuminating stuff. I thought I found it fascinating and I scratched my noggin. Like what? They found that your brain waves actually leave Delta and you're back into the, 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 the wake, wakefulness brain states. So you're, like I said, wakeful states are between theta, Beta and alpha, theta, alpha, beta, theta, alpha, beta, theta, alpha, beta. Those are the wakeful states that your brain waves are in while you're up, rounding about in your day to day affairs. They found that while you're in REM sleep, you're no longer, now to go to sleep, remember, you need to fall to delta. 
while you're sleeping and you fall into that cycle of REM sleep, they found that your brain waves are actually functioning as if you were awake, walking around, doing your day-to-day -day affairs. You go back into theta, beta, alpha, whatever gen general and natural states that you're in during the day. I thought that was fascinating. I'm saying, wow. So, wow. So this ex now that lends to the credence of why you have vivid dreams, why your dreams are so vivid, so clear when you're in the REM state. Because in REM state, your brain waves are actually, uh, the frequency of your brain wave is of that as if you were awake. So your brain waves are actually wake, awake, but yet you're sleeping. So your brain waves are functioning as if you are awake, but yet you're sleeping. This is where sleep paralysis comes in. Stay with me here, folks. It's heavy stuff. Now, listen to this. The brain release secretes chemicals. We all know that. Your brain secretes all kinds of chemicals. They're called opioids. Not opioids. Opioids are what's made outside of the brain. That's the lab stuff. Opioids are what's... Uh, stay with me here. I think it's called endogenous... Exo yeah, endogenous means made within the brain. Right. I'm trying to sound smart. I know. So, yeah, so the opioids are endogenous and the stuff that's made outside the brain is called, in, I don't remember what the one's called. <laughs> I really don't remember. But be that as it may be, super, there's the artificially stuff that's made outside and then there's stuff that's made in the brain. So the brain releases all these chemicals. I'm actually getting distracted. Let me get back to my focus. The focus is, so your brain make, releases all these chemicals, right? When you're in REM sleep, I just, I just made mention that your brain waves are functioning as if you are awake because you're in the theta, alpha, beta in that respective order. Theta, alpha, beta, your brain wave starts to go and function as if they're in, the, in between the theta, beta, and alpha waves. These are brain waves. You're no longer in delta. Delta is what you enter to sleep, but when you go into REM sleep, which is three, four, five in the morning. That's why you have most of your dreams at four or five in the morning. You're now in back into your brain waves and our function as if you're awake in your, you know, in your day-to-day -day affairs. So what they what's interesting is that all right, let me gather my thoughts. Okay, okay, okay. So the brain secretes these chemicals, right? All chemical we know this, right? Endorphins, right? Uh serotonin, dopamine, oxy oxytocin, uh, epinephrine, all these, you know, adrenaline, all these different chemicals right but your brain also at the stem of your brain uh it your brain when while in REM sleep it secretes something called gamma at uh amino buttric acid right gamma amino buttric acid and the uh, the abbreviations or the acronym is is GABA G A B A G A B A gamma amino buttric acid correct right and another chemical called glycine G L Y gly G L Y C I N I think that's how you spell it right yeah glycine and gamma amino buttric acid GABA abbreviation the acronym and glycine these are two chemicals that your brain secretes specifically during REM sleep specifically during REM sleep. What these two chemicals do is they enact something that they medically they call atonia. A-T-O-N-I-A. Atonia, atonia, however you want to pronounce it. It's it's right. So it, it's it and this what this does, it's a chemical that actually uh inhibits the motor neurons. So your central nervous system, it shuts down your motor neurons. All the neurons in your brain that's responsible for me doing my hands like this, moving my mouth. Everything that we, all of our physical movements are governed and regulated by these neurons, right? The central nervous system, all of that, right? Uh, so all of our motor functions are uh, the GABA and the glycine, these two chemicals, that's secreted by the brain during REM sleep, these two chemicals prohibit any kind of bodily movement. So it 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 it's it inhibits your your muscles. Right? Yeah, it inhibits and prohibits your muscles from moving, which makes sense. Think about this. 
if you're sleeping and your your girl, your wife, your kids, whatever, somebody's in the bed with you, and you're dreaming about WWF, I think y'all know where I'm going. If those two chemicals ain't being secreted by your brain, your wife might wake up in the morning with a black eye. Because you might elbow her. You might drop kick her. If you're dreaming of playing football, I love football. You know, you're dreaming of you out there running on the football and you're about to tackle somebody. And if your lady laying in the bed, you might act out that dream and clothesline her. Right? So this is why scientific research has proven that the brain secretes these two chemicals, GABA, the, the acronym, which is gamma amino buttric acids, and glycin. These two chemicals are what paralyzes your whole physical body. And based off research, they ran these tests on these animals, rats and all kinds of animals and stuff. And they found that the reason the brain secretes these chemicals is to make sure that while you're having REM sleep and you're, you're dreaming of clotheslining your wife, maybe you really want to clothesline the wife, I don't know, but you're dreaming about, you know, giving the wife a two-piece, these chemicals prevent you from actually giving the wife a two-piece. So the, 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 uh, the point of the, uh, the function of the, the GABA and the glycine is to, again, arrest the body, right? Paralyze the body, the motor functions of the body, so that while in REM, in REM is where you have vivid dreams. You even have what's called lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming is when the person is aware that they are dreaming. So you're in a dream and you're conscious and you're aware that you're actually dreaming. Now that's kind of powerful. Not a lot of people could, could, could dream lucidly like that. That's another level of consciousness. We'll discuss that in another video. But the point I'm making is this, folks. Sleep paralysis. Understanding this science, I'm I'm a little less scared now of, of, of the ghost, ghouls, and goblin stories. You know what I'm saying? Of the, uh, you know, you, you got an evil spirit on you, so you need to go to get some kind of voodoo, some, somebody to pray over you and wash you with some salt or something. It's not that. It's, it's, it's scientifically, it's complete, it's a biological. And here's the thing. Remember, in REM sleep, your brain waves are actually uh, functioning as if you are in a wakeful state. So that means your body biologically is sleeping, but your consciousness is uh, somewhat awakened because of the waves that you're in. So a lot of times, I, I just had REM sleep. What's today? Today is Tuesday. I had REM. I think I REMed up. I REMed up uh, Saturday morning. I had REM. No, it wasn't Saturday. It wasn't Saturday. It was. It wasn't yesterday either. It was, had to be Sunday. Well, whatever. A few days ago, I REMed up. I had some REM. And 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 it, and it happened. Like I I was trying to move and I could not move. I I just I I was awake. I was up and I'm trying to move, but I couldn't move. And how I broke REM sleep is I meditate a lot, right? So when 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 I come into REM sleep, I and and, and as it's happening to me, I start becoming aware and I just start saying God. I say Jesus. You know what I'm saying? My faith. And immediately it you know that that. That breaks, that cycle breaks, and I'm able to get out of it. Because REM sleep can be very terrifying. It's very terrifying, especially if you don't understand the science. Because, again, it's like you're awake, but you can't move. You're paralyzed. But here's the truth, folks. Well, I just, that, not that I was lying previously, but here's further truth. During REM sleep, you're, not, you're dreaming that you're awake. That's the ultimate thing. you got to understand this. You're actually dreaming. That you are awake. Because remember, during REM sleep, your dreams are very what? The, the operative term here or word is vivid. Vivid. And we know what vivid means. So during REM sleep, your dreams are very vivid. So if you're dreaming that you're up and you're trying to move, guess what? You're not going to be able to move because of those two chemicals that's being secreted. And those two chemicals are there to prevent you from clotheslining the wife. And like I said, it's... It's a very, uh, your dreams are very vivid. And, you know, like I said, vivid means very clear, very clear images that are impressed upon the mind. So if you're dreaming that you're awake because you're in REM state and your brain waves are uh, functioning as that, as that, your brain waves are functioning as though you are awake. You are in the brain waves that your brain waves, right? You're functioning in, in uh, like I said, what is it? Theta, beta, alpha. So your brain waves, 
the waves that you're actually resonating or, or uh, the frequency of the brain waves in REM sleep are the same waves as if you are awake. That's what they found. That your brain waves during REM sleep is the same brain waves as if you are in a wakeful state, but the difference is you're sleeping, so you're not. And that that's why mix that now or combine that with the viv the vividity. If that's I don't know if vividity is a word. The vivid, you know, vivid. I'm saying vivid, vividity, vividness. The vividness of your 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 dreams are so clear that they impress this image or the the picture that you're dreaming. Is so clearly impressed upon your mind that for all intents and purposes, you believe that you're awake. So what do you naturally do if you believe you're awake? You get up. Or maybe you lay there, you toss, you turn, you make some movement. But you're not. You're sleeping. You're dreaming that you're awake. And therefore, now the, paral the paralysis comes in because, thank goodness, your brain is secreting the GABA. Gamma amino buttric acid and the glycine, which are chemicals that arrest all your motor functions, prevent you from clotheslining the wife. And this is and it, it, this is what prevents sleepwalking too, because people can get hurt. You can end up going to sleepwalk if your your brain ain't uh, uh, secreting those chemicals to su to suppress motor functions in your body. Uh, you could sleepwalk. You could end up outside in the street and don't even know. You could be in a kitchen somewhere and don't even know. So this is why biologically those uh, chemicals are secreted to keep the body from actually acting out the dream. So folks, sleep paralysis, again, explained here. I think thoroughly. Uh, I think uh, very, you know, I think I explained it. I, I think I explained it pretty clear and crisp. So you guys should get something from that. Till next time, y'all know what I'm gonna be doing. Cooking books, bringing info, peace.